Now, gun control is still a hot button issue on Capitol Hill, and getting some sort of reform across the finish line is a goal of both sides. Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer says that effort starts with the domestic terrorism bill, which was voted on today. Capitol Hill correspondent Eric Rosales has those developments. Eric? Well, Tracy, Senate Republicans actually voted down that bill today. It would have created special groups inside the Department of Justice, the FBI, and even Homeland Security that would target domestic terrorism and specifically go after white supremacist groups. Now, Republicans say that they voted against the idea because it may infringe on religious liberties. And they also say after the Biden administration targeted uh, parents over at school board meetings as domestic terrorists, it's a slippery slope. Democrats say that they are not giving up on the issue. We're having votes. We're putting people on the record, right? One way or the other, we're going to have a debate here. We are going to force people to tell America which side they are on. Longtime gun control advocate Senator Chris Murphy was put in charge by Majority Leader Chuck Schumer to reach across the aisle and get some sort of gun reform passed. Democrats want deeper background checks for prospective gun owners, especially during private sales and at gun shows, plus a ban on assault weapons. Senator, Senator Richard Blumenthal had this message for the gun lobby. Your days are numbered. You are... You are on the wrong side of history, and you will see your power broken. Some Republicans support tighter red flag laws, making it easier for law enforcement to confiscate guns from those with mental illness, along with more aggressive mental health interventions and more armed guards at schools. But they disagree with chipping away at the Second Amendment. If gun control laws worked, Chicago would be Mayberry. And it's clearly not. So we need to proceed deliberately here, but 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 carefully. Senator Kennedy tells me he doesn't want a knee-jerk reaction. But I want it to be a solution. I'm not going to vote to restrict a constitutional right if it's not going to help in the interest of public safety. Republicans point out that there hasn't been any mass shootings from guns purchased on the Internet or even at gun shows. Now, I did speak with Minority Whip John Thune, who tells me that another idea that they're kicking around is using some of the COVID relief money, the billions that is still left over, to fund more officers at schools, to keep them armed at schools. But Democrats say that that doesn't go far enough. At the Capitol, Eric Rosales, EWTN News Nightly.